candelita que me tiene ya muy frutrado. Hey guys, welcome back to South Beach. We are here in the Riviera Hotel and Restaurant and we're here with the owner, actually. But we're, before saying the owner, let's say singer, songwriter, entrepreneur, I mean, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, because he does so many things. So Grammy Award winner, I think it's the most, bam, you know, you still watch it. <laughs> Jorge Moreno is right next to me. How are you, man? Pretty good. How are you? Good. Thank so, you, for coming. Uh, you know, I'm not cold at all, you're but cold. you're uh, warm because we're in Miami. Yeah, this is um, winter in Miami, so I figured I dressed apart. I have no idea why I'm wearing this, but I'm really I'm not cold, by the way. <laughs> so, tell me a little bit about what you're doing now. I mean, um, it's not easy. Not easy. You know, what you've done is not easy, <laughs> but no. definitely possible. And uh, you achieved a lot of goals that people go a lifetime to just reach one of them, which, for example, the Grammy Award winning thing, right? Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm very lucky and very fortunate, and, but at the same time, I work my ass off. Yeah, so, of <laughs> you know, if easy, you guys. work your ass off and you're going towards something, you'll probably achieve it sooner or later. So. Perseverance, right? Perseverance, Perseverance, yeah. Okay, so tell me, the Riviera, um, have you always been the owner of this hotel? Or? Well, no, it's, um, it's a partnership with uh, Nathan Lieberman. Um, this is Moreno's Cuba, actually. Moreno's Cuba is like the... You built it, right? You guys built it. Yeah, we built this building. Actually, the other buildings are historic. Just okay. we gutted them completely. We modeled them, right? Yeah, gutted and renovated down to the studs, like nothing in it. Actually, that building over there, which you can't see, but that building over there was in one of those big fires that that crazy arsonist yeah, guy that burnt down the buildings a few years ago. That was one of the buildings he burned down, so that was completely gutted to the studs. And this was actually a pool. I remember seeing it burnt down, yeah, when they had com the convention centers, which is right here. They had a lot of events, and oh, wow. This was a pool and a parking lot. I used to park my car here. So then we built this building, and the restaurant just naturally came in some weird little alley. <laughs> weird little alley. <laughs> I like it. It grew like a mushroom. And I like the vibe. The vibe is actually very tropical, very Miami, very actually like Windwoody, like you said. A lot of art going on. Wind meets old Cuba meets Miami Beach. Are you Cuban? I am Cuban, yeah. Cuban. I, well, I'm, I'm born here in America. Pero habla español. No, I'm just kidding. No comment. Habla español, no? I'm born here in America, but I am Cuban American. So, habla español. Claro que sí. Coño, gané un Grammy latino, no un Grammy americano. No, bueno, pero por ahí, hay gente, mira, hay gente que, cantantes que cantan en español, pero no te hablan en español. Yo me acuerdo de DLG, Huey. Me acuerdo de Huey, ¿no? Y Huey, tremendo cantante en español, pero no hablaba nada en español. Se aprenden las palabras exactas para hacer la canción y listo. That's it. You have a really good voice, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I, you this is the first time that I, that I heard you, and he was sitting right here with his guitar uh, singing, and you're really good. Kind of have like that country... Uh, no, country like voice, kind of, you know, like romantic, like, I don't know. Can you sing something Cuban for us? Country. I got a Cuban, Cuban country. country yeah. I you actually do? have a, a country song, and I'm Cuban, so I call it Cuban country. <laughs> you want to be shy if I ask you to, like, sing, like, a phrase? Sure. So you they can see what I'm... Just sing your song? Can we get his guitar? <laughs> totally spontaneous, guys. Like, everything we do, by the way. <laughs> and we're not live, but... <laughs> You're live right now? You're not no, usually we are. Not to, not right now though. You can stop it. Or not. You're supposed to be to oh, pause the video. This there you go. We never pause the videos. You guys tell them we, ne we never pause the videos because no, no everything we do is always live. All right. So this is, I dig it. You well, know. Let's go live. Maybe we are. I don't know. Live. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but vamos a hacer. <laughs> antes de hablar de todo lo demás, yo quiero que ustedes, eh, si no lo han escuchado antes, que lo escuchen un un poquitito, un minutito. I want you to just show off. <laughs> Right? We wanted to show up. Right, um. You want me to sing one of my songs or you want to sing... Uh... All right. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> that was really catching him in the spot, right? Yo tengo una candelita que me tiene alborotado Yo tengo una candelita que me tiene ya muy frutrado Porque cuando se va de compra, si regresa sin un mandado, que ha hecho mi candelita con la plata que he le dado. I'm talking about you. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the concert. Me contaron dos viejitas que me vieron muy amargado, que la vieron con Juanita caminando bien apretado. No será que mi candelita 
Se me ha ido para el otro lado, como que mala, muy maldita, con los cuernos acá, ajá, pegado. Pegado. Y dicen, ay, si yo pudiera, ay, si yo, ay, si yo pudiera, ay, si yo, ay, si yo pudiera, ay, si yo, ay, si yo pudiera, está con la dos. I think I might be burning your mic here. Qué atrevido, ¿quieres estar con las dos? Uh oh. I sang that on, I sang that on Good Morning America. I swear to God. Esa canción es de estar con dos mujeres. Sí, yo me di cuenta, pero al final. Para toda América. ¿En horario de niños o.? A horario de niños. Eh. Había ¿Qué tal? Bob en el canal anterior. Y había Barney en el otro canal. Y en el medio estaba yo. The song is about being with two women at the same time. So he, he says that he sang it in a, you know, a child time on TV. Bueno, aquí no tienes que preocuparte, si no te preocupes. Puedes estar con las dos, con tres, con cuatro, no pasa nada. I am on TV. Por eso te digo, aquí, aquí puedes hablar de lo que tú quieras, que no hay problema. Perfecto. Bueno, now you guys see what I was talking about, right? His voice is really, really good. You're really good, man. Thanks. Thank this you. This is my first time hearing you, so I'm, I'm excited. I get excited, like naturally. No, claro que no. Bueno, a ver, vamos a ir un poquito pasando tu parte de entrepreneur. Let's go to the entrepreneur part. All right. So <laughs> already busy enough with the businesses here in Miami, uh, but let's go to the also the OTT. Tell me a little bit about Viva Entertainment. Over the top. All right. So um, Viva is a cloud-based incredible app, incredible box. Basically, what we do is you can get any channel you want. Basically, right? All right. So for us, we're a hotel. I'm going to give you the example. We're a hotel. You put that box inside one of our rooms, or it can come built into your TV like a Roku, right? So somebody comes and visits from Argentina. They can go and see Argentinian TV live. Somebody comes from Italy. They can see Italian TV live. Somebody comes from, you know, Saudi, Amer Saudi Arabia. Saudi America. Saudi America. That would be a good, that would be a good country, right? We could, we could you Saudi know, Arabia, they can watch TV live. And it's very, and this is a very transient place. A lot of people from different cultures. So yeah. it's really cool for them to be able to, to get on their TV set something that is happening live in their hometown. So this is, you're the ambassador for this company. You're like the yeah. face. Uh, how, how did this happen? How did this happen? Um, I just, I was just singing. Look pretty. Day, and you know. they go, hey, you. <laughs> we want you. <laughs> we want you, like the army. Oh yeah, any channel in the U.S. you can also get. You can get Miami TV, yeah, meaning that you get Miami TV. maybe you're watching this interview in. Well, actually, no, not yet, because it hasn't come out yet. So. I mean, everybody's getting Miami TV anyway. Everybody's watching you, so. Well, you, you guys. Well, yeah, they're watching. That means, yeah. makes sense. If you're watching, watching this right now, you're watching Miami TV. All right. So what's next? Um, what's next is getting Viva around the world, getting it in every TV, getting it just as a default in every television, every smart TV, everywhere. Because it only makes sense. I mean, this is the smart, this is technology. This is the future, yeah. Uber. This is the Uber of television. This is, you know. That's a good one. <laughs> this is it. This is technology. Until Uber goes without, you know, drivers and it's all self-driven. I mean. Who knows yeah. what will happen there. <laughs> As we were talking He's about confused today, now. We were talking about that today. Um, really? Uber is one of the biggest, you know, transportation companies in the world. Yeah. They don't own they don't really own any cars, you know, it's all driver, you know, and Airbnb is one of the biggest, you know, places where you can sure. rent and, and do things, but they don't, they don't own, own any yet. rooms. And Viva is the same thing. You can, it's not really a channel, it's more of an app where you can just see every channel. So it's just technology, it's facilitating. Facilitating and movies. And well, movies. Pretty much. Movies are most important, thing, especially for us at the hotel. Oh yeah, that's true. Cause you just want to relax and watch a movie. Yeah, you play a fat, you pay a fat fee, flat fee, <laughs> flat. Oh fee. yeah, that's a, not, not a not cheap fat that. fee. There you go. Yeah, that sounds good. You pay a flat fee. <laughs> and you can get like a bunch. Of Every, you know what? It's kind of like cable, but so much better. There you go. <laughs> you know what? I think cable's gonna be obsolete soon, sooner or later. It'll be obsolete Definitely. for sure. You know, first of all, people hate paying the high prices. That's one. Second of all, we hate censorship, so that's why you guys are watching Miami TV. <laughs> um, and we've been doing this for eight years, and we knew that this was coming, so that's why, you know, now it's like you guys. And then, of course, we knew this was coming. Yeah, you people knew. said the internet was not going to work, and we started only on the internet. 
They're like, oh, that's going to fail, and look at us now. So, well, look at you now. Oh, thanks. I want to see your hair. Can we see your hair? Oh, God. quiero ver el pelo. That's what I wanted to know. Like, I wanted to see what you looked at without the hat. Estaba un poquito despeinado. I'm not bald. I'm just no, wearing this today. I did not ask if you had hair. I just said I wanted to see. Quería ver cómo se veía sin la... Bruce Willis is cool without hair. But I, I got... Nada malo con una persona calva a ella, así que... I got too much hair, actually. Entonces, vas a estar en el evento también de... You're going to be also in the event in February, right? For the volleyball. Are you going to play volleyball? Or yeah. Also watch... Are you going to play? Yeah. You're playing? No. Oh. I'm not going to play. So are we all watching the sexy models like play volleyball and that's it? Like that's yeah, poor what girls. What more do you want? Do you why it's cold in February, right? No. No. Model volleyball is always amazing. It's actually a great event. Because of the girls, that's what he meant. <laughs> no, but um, there's fundraising, right, being done. Of course. Yeah. There's always fundraising being done. Good. Yeah. And uh, what's your involvement in this event? Um, the involvement in the event is just being there and making sure that everything's going cool. And I have a lot of friends um, that actually throw the event. Olivia Ormos, you know, Michael Marco. So supporting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to sing? No, I'm not going to sing. You have to sing, come on. singing at the event. What do you mean? Soleil is going to sing. We're going to throw this ball over here and it's <laughs> la, 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 throw the ball. <laughs> oh, you're going to sing? There's a stage. Oh, there's a stage? Jamie Foxx is singing. Jamie Foxx is singing. Oh shit! Jamie yeah, he Fox. sang last year. That's true. Yeah. Going after that, Jamie Foxx is badass. Well, it's totally different, though. I mean, yeah. why not? We're in Miami. You gotta throw a little bit of Latin vibe in there. Yeah, that's true, actually. Maybe yeah. do like a song together. Yeah. So late. I don't Babaloo know. Babalu with Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Babalu. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what? The in Spanish. I can. Babalu in Spanish. Babalu in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Is this Spanish? Oh, yeah. Is this Spanish song? That was the first crossover song. Before Ricky Martin, before any of the others, it was Babalu. That was Miguelito Valdez, actually. Margarita Lecona, actually. Ahí le salió el, cu el cubatón, le salió. Bueno, <laughs> vives aquí en Miami. Yo vivo aquí en Miami, siempre. Dale, para los que no te conocen, dale tus redes sociales. No hagas una por una si el nombre es el mismo. <laughs> es jorgemoreno.com. That's it. So, jorgemoreno.com, that's it. Or .com, if you guys didn't understand that, just in case. Um, and... Facebook, Instagram, everything, you'll find it there, right? Yeah, you can go to Jorge Moreno on Facebook and you can... Are you up for like Moreno performing? Miami on Instagram. Are you, Are you up for, for performing now more? Because I know like I'm, I'm you left it, right, a little bit? Yeah. A couple of years? Yeah, yeah. I started Are you hoping to start again and well, yeah. come with a boom? I started like a TV company and we did a bunch of crazy TV shows. Kind of like what you're doing, but yeah. Crazy like how? Like reality shows. Reality TV is not crazy, it's scripted. And blah, 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 blah. Oh, there you go. Now you have some culture. Good. Um, all right, well, say hi to Miami TV and invite hi, them to come say And uh, thank you for watching. I know you're not watching for me. I know what you're watching for. It's her right there. But thank you for watching. We need good content, though, right? <laughs> all right, guys, see you soon. Stay watching Miami TV. And I uh, love you. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Adios. Happy New Year.